Me, I'm afraid your question was lost in the ether through the blithering of the Game Drive channel, which I'm now going to turn down so that I may give you my undivided attention. Here we go. Ah, which antelope species is habituated the easiest? Well, it depends, Marco, whether you mean on foot or in the vehicles. I think that on foot the bushbuck and the yala become most fighting most easily. But that's because they live around the camps quite often. And when they live around the camps, they see people a lot and they stop associating us with fear. So they are pretty good. In the vehicles, I'm trying to think what you can get closest to. Definitely not a Steenbock or a Diker or a Kudu. Impala are not great, you know. They just tend to be in the open a bit, so we see more than there are lots of them. It might actually be these guys. It could easily be the water buck. These chaps are being particularly confiding. They're sitting about 20 meters from us, watching us. Two of them are lying down. So I'm going to go with water buck, Marco. They're now watching something behind us. What is it, David? Is it a cheetah approaching? Or just a virtual starling? Probably a virtual starling. I don't know. That's basically where that wildebeest was, somewhere over there. I and Brian, you're wondering about antlers on waterbuck and whether they ever get antlers. Brian, none of the animals out here get antlers at all. The animals out here, or the antelope out here, are not the same as deer. That's one of the distinguishing features between deer and antelope. Antelope get horns, and deer get antlers. Now, these particular waterbuck will never get horns because they're female. And, in fact, one of the easiest ways to discern whether an antelope is a male or a female is the presence of horns. Some antelope females have got horns, but most of them do not. And these chaps here have got no horns, and the male's horns are permanent. So they never lose them. They are not like antlers, which of course fall off every season. So these females will never have horns. The males have got a massive, very beautiful set, rack of um, uh, sort of rapier-like horns. And they're a good sort of, I would say, 30% larger than these females. And they live generally solitary existences when they have big adults. But they will join up with each other in bachelor groups when they're a bit younger. Right, otherwise everything is very peaceful indeed. I've heard no reports of lions or leopards from anywhere at 